the Curtis SB2C Hell Diver was designed as a carrier based bomber in theaters in the Pacific as an addition and replacement for the Duras SBD Doubtless. But problems with its development delayed its introduction and saddled it with a bad reputation. By the end of the war, changes in technology meant other aircraft could deliver an equal or greater ordnance load with compatible accuracy, eliminating the need for a specialized dive bomber. And the Hell Diver became the Navy's last dive bomber. Hell Diver was also nicknamed Big Tail Beast. Compared to the Douglas SBD Doubtless it replaced, the Hell Diver was a much larger aircraft that can operate from the latest carriers and carry a considerable array of armament. It featured an internal bomb bay that reduced drag when carrying heavy ordnance. Standard armament included a pair of fixed forward firing 20mm cannons in the wings and a pair of 7.62mm M1919 Browning air cooled machine guns in the rear cockpit. The Hell Diver was designed with a middle low monoplane wing with a crew of two seated in tandem within a long cockpit. The pilot in the forward area and the tail gunner in the aft. The aircraft was fitted with a single dry power engine at the extreme forward of the fuselage, powering a three blade propeller. The fuselage sported straight wings with a tapered trailing edge and rounded tips. The design was specifically engineered with a large area tail assembly for improved handling. Hero Diver made its maiden flight on December 18, 1940 and entered service in December 1942. The program suffered so many delays that the Grumman TBF Avenger entered service before the Hell Diver, even though the Avenger had begun its development two years later. A total of 7,140 SB2Cs were produced in World War II. Though Curtis had made numerous changes, the initial version still suffered from a number of difficulties. Once assigned to carriers, it had tail wear and hook failures that limited it to service ashore until the problems were addressed. In addition, the electrical and hydraulic systems required a lot of maintenance on parts that were difficult to access. Overall, the Hell Diver made a poor first impression among both aircrew and maintainers, earning it the perorative nicknames the Big Tail Beast and Son of a Bitch, Second Class. Regardless, the Hell Diver proved the most potent mount and was able to carry a greater ordnance payload than her predecessor. Despite the problems, some of which only emerged well after it entered service, initial demand for the Hell Diver was high, leading to Navy to assign additional construction to Fairchild Aircraft's Canadian branch and the Canadian Cars and Foundry Company. Though the US Navy was the primary customer, both the British Navy and the Australian Air Force placed order for the Hell Divers. Nevertheless, the Hell Divers problem proved too much trouble for these additional customers. The Army took delivery of only about 900 A-25s before deciding it did not need a dedicated dive bomber, while both the Australians and the British quickly decided 
the hell diver was unsuited to service and cancelled their orders. Modified again, hell divers returned to carriers in May 1943, but performance was still poor. The hell diver did not make its combat debut until November 1943 in a raid on the Japanese stronghold at Rabaul. During the Battle of the Philippine Sea, Admiral Mark Mister launched a strike force against the Japanese carriers that included 51 SB2C1C hell divers and 26 doubters. The entire strike was launched at extreme range, and this distance significantly affected the hell divers due to their smaller fuel load. Only five returned to land safely on the carriers. Of the 46 lost, 32 ran out of gas and crashed or ditched. Tellingly, only two doubtless were lost. One was shot out and one crashed or landing. The Hell Diver would remain in Navy and Marine Corps service until 1950, but after the war, the U.S. saw on surplus Hell Divers to the navies of Italy, Portugal, Thailand, Greece, and France. The French Navy kept them in service until 1958, and Hell Divers saw their last combat in the third phase of the Great Civil War and with the French in the First Indochina War. Thank you.